Okay, I'm having a good time and the thing is are just getting started and I have a slight feeling that some of you, or actually the three of you, may have a lot to do with what we see on the walls. Introduce yourself. What's your name? What's your name? Christine Knudsen. And you teach what? Graphic design and art history. Okay, and sir? Uh, Steve Guida. I teach pottery and ceramics. And? Uh, Melissa Healy. I teach drawing, painting, fine art two, fine art three honors, and AP studio yeah. art. <laughs> okay, I think we have too many questions with her. <laughs> How did this all start? Did anybody want to give me a little feedback on how this all started? Uh, where am I going? Here? Steve. Steve? Sure. How did this uh, all come together? Well, yeah. our supervisor had spoke with uh, Emiliano? Emiliano over the right. summer about maybe setting up a show. We had done this my first year here years ago. And then um, we uh, worked together as a collaborative project to get some students work together. And we tried to keep it a theme, but it's, it's hard with the different concentrations and stuff with the students. But we. We got some projects and uh, set up the show. How does it feel having your students' work being seen by the general public? How does that make you feel? Uh, it's good. I think it's very good to get it out there to the public so they can see what it is that we're doing in the classroom. Um, I think it's also great for the students uh, to, to experience what it would be like to in a, be in a professional gallery setting. Are you an artist also on the side? I am. I am. I've gotten a little bit away from it over the years, focused more on the teaching. But it's always in the blood, right? Yeah, it's always there. I know. And you said, what, 12,000 classes you teach? Yes. What was it? <laughs> Seven. Seven. That's, that's, the, that's just as good as 12,000. Your thoughts about the show tonight? I think it's great. I think it's really nice, like Christine said, to have the students have their work out in the public so, you know, public can see what we actually do in the classroom. Um, and they don't get a lot of recognition, recognition sometimes. We have the Arts Festival in March, but other than that, we don't have a lot of work out in the public. Actually, I went down to the Arts see. Festival, and I think that was an incredible, at the Community Center. Yeah. Yes. And I thought that was a great incorporation well, of, think, of many different aspects of art. We had the, the mass doing things. We had the culinary teachers and exactly, food and, and the, music. the music, the strings were all, it all, brings all it together. Yeah. I think it's fabulous that you're actually getting your students involved with this, and I think it also enhances the library here. Because That's what everyone I was is known say. for this. We have great shows every month and a half in the second mm -hmm. level here. And I just think it's great that you're doing this. How do you, how do you feel with the people now seeing what your students do? Well, I think Any it, pressure it, with the parents going, mm, is that what they did all day? No, I think they should be <laughs> highly impressed and, and proud of their students. I mean, this is, again, an area where they can strive and, and really showcase what their talents are. And when we think about it, everything that we buy, whether it's your shoes or your phone, is designed by an artist at some point. And this is where the next generation will probably get some of their their ideas from is, you know. I agree. I think it's fabulous. And a tip of my hat to you, because I know teaching is fun, but we'll say a challenge from time <laughs> to time. We won't get specific bit. about it. And then congratulations to your students for the work that they've done here. Uh, now, you. Uh, go mingle and see if you can find someone to talk Thank to. You. Thank, Thank you for your time. You. How are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? You're here for the show, I, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. And this is your work right here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, can you tell me your name? I'm Eunice. Say it again. Eunice. And what grade are you in? I'm in 12th grade. 12th grade, you're going to be a senior, huh? Okay, now this is some incredible work. This this is your three-step variation of something. I'll tell you what, get right in the middle, because I'm going to zoom right past here. I want everybody to see what you've done here, and then you're going to tell me about it. And folks, we have a bottom part to this. This is a six-part series we got going on here. What was the what was the concept about what you did here? Um, the concept was really about women's rights in different um, time periods. So at first, it started out where um, it was very a long time ago where they were. In so the this is like in the chronological. Well, come on down here. Let's, let's start over here. All right, tell me, but loud because we have a lot of noise now. Um, this is a woman in the workplace, so it shows a lot of the um, assembling of different parts and pieces. And I kind of based her off of um, the river. And this is so this is what you're working Okay, let's, let's move down to the, uh, you can just turn around. Tell me about this one now. This is moving on in time. Um, this is actually present time. This is present time right here. So um, you can see that in the difference in the clothes where it's a lot more exposed and there's a lot of people in the background, a lot of technology going on. <laughs> so it also shows present time that. I heard drawing feet and hands is a very difficult thing. Is that true? Yes. It is? But they look good. Okay, we have our third in this kind of grouping. Is this the future? Um, this one's actually before the present time. Oh. And it's um, kind of a transition period, so that's why I decided to use half and half, where this is where they start to get their rights. 
This is amazing. How low is it? What, what's the medium here? Is this chalk or charcoal? What is it? It's a mix between pastel and charcoal. Is it all three of them are mixed like that? Why made you decide this is your theme? Um, I decided that I guess I was kind of into the whole women's rights movement. Okay. So I thought that maybe I could decide to um, make a transition into how they were able to um, develop and be able to gain these rights. Did your hands get messy when you did this? Yeah. Did it take a long time to do all three of them? Yeah. All six pieces, a long time? Yeah. How do you feel with people looking at your work? How does that make you feel? I think um, it feel pretty um, good pretty about cool with it. Yeah. Well, I think you're very talented. Do you have art in your future? I hope so. I hope so too. Nice to meet you. Good luck.